بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين <coughs> والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين أما بعد إخوة الإسلام عباد الله This particular clarification that I'm making then this is directed to the to the to whom it may concern crowd some people may not understand why this particular clarification is being made but there is a group of individuals that understand exactly why it's being made and so i want to say as it relates to this clarification that i do not speak for sheikh farid abdullah i do not speak for him i'm not his public relations agent, uh, I'm not his manager, I'm not a spokesperson. When it comes to Sheikh Farid, I have no contact with him and I haven't talked to him in years. Uh, I talk, the last time I talked to him is, is while, I were, while I was living in Montgomery, Alabama and I lived in Montgomery, Alabama from 2013 to 2018. And I don't remember the last time I talked to him, let alone what the discussion was about. So the reality is that I don't speak for him. I don't know his mawakif on anything uh, and thus forth and so on. So if you contact me and your the motivation for you contacting me is to find out about Farid, Abdu uh, Farid Abdullah, and how he's doing and what his positions are and what does he say about this and, th and that, I don't know. And so if that's your motivation, then I'm here to tell you, you might as well not waste your time. I speak for Najib al Angelisi. I represent myself. I don't represent Sheikh Farid. I don't represent uh, Hanif Faus. I don't represent Abu Ukash Shashak Abdullah. I don't re uh, represent Abu Musa Wajdi Akkari. I don't represent Muta Bill or the man formerly known as Napoleon the Outlaws. All these brothers were in Los Angeles. All of them I know. And some of them I haven't spoken to in years. I don't represent any of these individuals. I represent myself, Najib. Ibn Yusuf al Angelisi. So if you're calling me to ask and inquire about my well being and thus forth and so on, I can easily tell you about that. If you're calling, asking me about my mo kif in a particular affair, I can easily tell you about that. As for calling me about this person or that person, or specifically Sheikh Farid, I don't know. You're better off contacting him. If you're calling me or trying to reach out to me, to figure out how you can get in contact with Farid. Again, I don't know. Uh, I know that there are some people in Los Angeles, a select few that are able to communicate, that, uh, that are communicating with him. But for the most part, most of the Angeles seeing don't, don't, aren't communicating with him. And if I ask him, how is he doing? They don't know. So, and I'm saying this not to, not to say or to insinuate, because some people have evil thoughts, so some people will take away from that that there's some type of problem between me and Farid. No, there's no problem between me and Farid. There's no animosity, there's no beef, and thus forth and so on. I'm simply stating that I don't speak for him. That's basically what I'm saying, and so a person shouldn't dive or delve into what could be intended by by. He doesn't speak for him. What's intended by I don't speak for him is exactly what I said. I don't speak for him. I wish him the best. I wish him, uh, Yanni, the, uh, Yanni, for him to be in a good state of health, Iman, and, and thus forth and so on. Uh, I love him for the sake of Allah. Uh, I, I make dua for him that, you know, whatever he does that is uh, of benefit for Islam and the Muslims, may Allah reward him, whatever mistake he makes. May Allah pardon him, and thus forth and so on. 
uh, so so the statements that I'm the, the statement that I made or the clarification that I'm making shouldn't keep, go beyond what I basically said. And I'm saying this for a reason and that to whom it may concern crowd will understand exactly what's intended. And Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala knows best. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik. Ashadu an la ilaha illa ant. Astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.